Pascal, greetings uh, from Helsinki and Clash of Clans development team. <laughs> Some of you might know me from Clash of Clans forums, and I'm also one of the people who's replying to questions and feedback on Facebook and Twitter. Um, it's so awesome that so many of you are there today, and we would have loved to be there with you, but unfortunately, or luckily, we have to stay here and finish uh, the new update. Hey, I'm Lassi Leppinen, the lead of Clash of Clans team. Uh, I wanted to use this opportunity to tell you a bit about the uh, new update. As you can see from the screen, Halloween theme is coming and there are some Halloween specials also included in the build. Also, we will have official support for iOS 7. I will also tell you a bit about how we develop the game and especially how we develop the combat. As you know, there has been a lot of talks about the Hawk Rider, which are they too strong, are they too weak, and I'll show you a bit how we work and, and how, how we deal with this. So here you can see uh, our combat simulator. It basically throws random set of troops and attacks against these test units. And, and we measure all kind of statistics based on this simulation about the troops. On top of this, we of course listen to your feedback and also measure the statistics from the live environment, from actual players. And based on all these facts, we then decide if we need to make some troops stronger or some troops weaker. So don't worry, we are taking this really, really seriously and I'm tweaking the combat whenever required. That's all from my side. Tommy will continue now with the main feature, that is the village edit mode. Hi, I'm Tommy. I'm a game programmer in the class team. I'm going to show you the major new feature in our new version which is the village edit mode. So uh, if you have a big village like this, you know that it's a lot of work to make small changes. And we've also gotten a lot of feedback about that. So that's when the village edit mode kicks in. Okay, so here we have a high level village. And as you know, uh, even small changes can be pretty hard to do here. Like, let's see, I want to bring in one air defense and I want to put it instead of this level 8 mortar. So I would have to look for empty space to swap the buildings. But now we have the edit mode, and there's a couple of new features here. Uh, first of all, it's quite easy now to swap buildings, because you can put them here to the inventory. So I'll take this level 8 mortar, put it here to inventory. Then I can take the air defense from here, move it instead here, and put this back. If you want to make some uh, bigger changes, you can go to erase mode. And here I can just tap things and they will all come to the inventory here to make some space. And now I can drag them back here. And if you want to do a, like a whole new base layout change, you can always use the remove all that will clear all your base. Like this. <laughs> One hour to finish. Oh, Just a little more. Alright, how about the walls? There's some new features for the walls as well. So I drag a wall here. Now I have these ghost walls here that I can use to draw. small tweaks by tapping here. <laughs> and once you're done with your all buildings are placed on the on the game field then you can just save the village and have it have it transformed to you. Or if you don't like it you can discard the changes here. Okay that was the village edit mode and we'll still continue working on it so all feedback is welcome from you guys. Okay, Clashers, that's everything from Helsinki and Clash of Clans development team. I hope you guys have a wonderful night, super fun, and remember to find Steve and Joe, have a chat with them, give us feedback, ideas, suggestions, what you would like to see in Clash of Clans. I will be seeing you on Facebook, forums, and Twitter. 
Have a great night and clash on.